What's up guys and welcome back to my channel. In this video I'm just going to show off my uh, one of my most recent projects in internet art. Um, it's a class I'm taking for school and the project that we are, well, we just got done doing, uh, we're doing a program called Processing, which is this here. Uh, this is the program that we are working in. Basically, you do a whole bunch of coding and a picture or some sort of uh, result will come out, very, very similar to normal coding. Once we... So I got... Basically, what my project is, is uh, we were supposed to make a robot using a bunch of shapes and using the coding that uh, we learned recently. Uh, there's so basically you set the size and then you just start going and making all the shapes throughout here with the void draw it basically makes it so that well the void draw with the XY mouse X and mouse Y that makes it so that the uh, wherever the x and y coordinates that I added in, the x and y variables that I added into the x and y coordinates of all the shapes, they will move with the mouse. And I, as you see, it's like y plus 30, y plus 50, and then x plus 40. That is basically centering all the shapes that I made initially and centering it on a single point which in this case is 250 by 550. Um, that's what the X and the Y is the exact center and these are all uh, relative to it. Uh, the background just sets it to basic white. Once you run it, which I will now display on my video, um, it allows, shows the robot that I made and you can see how it moves around. For those that don't know, it's a uh, Gur from Invader Zim, just chilling. And uh, yeah, it may seem like it's a very simple uh, drawing that you could probably do in like a half hour on like paint or something. But once you look at the coding that I did to actually create it. It's a little bit more complicated. You can see multiple curve vertex vor vertexes, yeah, curve vertexes throughout the entire thing. Uh, in total, there's 182 lines of coding just to make the simple robot here. I figured it would be a better thing to actually make the video instead of just showing the picture to show how much work was actually put into it. As you can see, this little green box right at the center, um, I can't really point to it with my uh, mouse, but it's on his chest right in the center there. That is what all this is right here, just to make that. And uh, then the body here. You have to make sure the uh, stroke weight is correct with the drawing and the fill, which would be the color on the inside. As you can see, the light gray, dark gray, medium gray, and the, uh, the greenish turquoise type color. So yeah, that's basically it. I could show the static version of this, where the robot is not moving whatsoever, but... Uh, there's not really much point. It's basically just this, but without moving. And I think that's it for this video. Yeah, thank you all for watching.